In this problem, we're going to prove that the limit as x approaches 0 of this quantity is equal to 0. We're going to do it using the squeeze theorem. Approved. The cosine function is bounded by 1. So what does that mean? It means that the cosine of x for any x is less than or equal to 1 and greater than or equal to negative 1. So this is not part of the proof, but it's a fact we're going to use. So that means that the cosine of 17 over x is between these numbers as well. Right here, x can be any number. So if you have x to the fourth times the cosine of 17 over x, well, this is less than or equal to 1, and then this x to the fourth is hanging out. So it's less than or equal to x to the fourth times 1, so just x to the fourth. Likewise, this is greater, read it backwards, greater than or equal to, this is greater than or equal to negative 1, but there's an x to the fourth here, so it's greater than or equal to x to the fourth times negative 1, so negative x to the fourth. Now we take the limit here, the limit here, as x approaches 0 of negative x to the fourth. Well, this is easy. You can just plug in 0, so you just get negative 0 to the fourth, so you get 0. Likewise, you take the limit here, as x approaches 0. You plug in 0, so you get 0 to the fourth. No problems there, so you just get 0. So as x approaches 0, this approaches 0, and this approaches 0. And this function is trapped in the middle. Therefore, by the squeeze theorem, the limit of this function, as x approaches 0, is also 0. So thus, by the squeeze theorem, the squeeze, squeeze theorem, our original limit is 0. I'll go ahead and write it again. The limit as x approaches 0 of x to the fourth cosine 17 over x is also equal to 0. And that completes the proof. So I hope that helps.